the fifth part of polygons we are discussing questions in page number 55 look at the question in a polygon with all angles equal one outer angle is twice an inner angle first question how much is each of its angle we are talking about a polygon in which all angles are equal one outer angle is given to be equal to twice an inner angle so let us consider the inner angle to be equal to x because we are not given but we know all the inner angles are equal now let us write the outer angle we can write outer angle to be equal to 2 into x because it is given outer angle is twice an inner angle now what do you know in a polygon if all sides are extended inner angle plus outer angle at each vertex forms a linear pair so we can write x plus 2x is equal to 180 degree from this we get 3x is equal to 180 degree or otherwise x is equal to 180 divided by 3 which is equal to 60 degree from this what did you understand we got each inner angle to be equal to 60 degree now our question is how much is each of its angle so we got each of the inner angle to be equal to 60 degree we can also say about the outer angle each outer angle would be 60 into 2 which is equal to 120 degree now how many sides does it have so to get the number of sides we know each of the inner angle is 60 degree if each inner angle is 60 degree then that polygon would be a equilateral triangle number of sides is asked we know in a equilateral triangle the number of sides is 3 look at the fifth question in the same page this question has got three parts let us discuss one by one first one sum of outer angles of a polygon is twice the sum of inner angles first part of the question how many sides does it have let us answer this first use the given condition sum of outer angles we know sum of outer angles of any polygon is equal to 360 degree is twice the sum of inner angles we know sum of inner angles of a polygon is always n minus 2 into 180 degree now let us use the given condition i can write 360 which is equal to 360 is the sum of outer angles of a polygon it is given outer angles is equal to twice the sum of inner angles that is 2 into n minus 2 into 180 degree we have just substituted the formula here okay next step 360 is equal to 2 into 180 also gives you 360 so we can write 360 into n minus 2 now you can see 360 is common on both sides so what we can do let us cancel 360 on both sides so what will remain here you will get 1 so 1 is equal to n minus 2 so how many sides are there n will be equal to take minus 2 to this side you will get 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 so number of sides is equal to 3 is the answer for the first question how many sides does it have now come to the second part of the question what if the sum of outer angles 
is half the sum of inner angles. Let us do the second question. Sum of outer angles is half the sum of inner angles. We know sum of inner angles is n minus 2 into 180 degree. We have to take the half of it. So, divide the whole thing by 2. Is it clear children? Write the next step. 360 is equal to. Now 2 cancels with 180. So you get 90 degree in the numerator. Next step. Take 90 to the other side. So you get 360 by 90 is equal to n minus 2. Now let us cancel. 190 is 90. 490 is 360. So you got n minus 2 is equal to 4. So to get the number of sides, number of sides will be equal to 4 minus 2 taken to the other side becomes plus 2. So you get number of sides to be equal to 6 is the answer for the second question. Third part of the question. If the sums are equal, that is n minus 2 into 180 degree is the sum of inner angles of a polygon. 360 is the sum of outer angles of the polygon. Next step what we can do, n minus 2 is equal to 360. Let us take this 180 to the other side. So you get 180 divided by 360 divided by 180 which gives you 2. So we get n minus 2 is equal to 2 that is n is equal to 2 plus 2 which is equal to 4. So if the inner angles and outer angles are equal then the number of sides of that polygon is equal to 4. Let us discuss the next heading, regular polygons. You should know the meaning of a regular polygon children. A polygon with all sides and all angles equal can be called as a regular polygon. Take for example our triangle. In a triangle, if all three sides are equal and if all three angles are equal, then we call that triangle to be a equilateral triangle. From that we can say equilateral triangle is a polygon of three sides. In an equilateral triangle what do you know? All sides are equal and all angles are equal to 60 degree. Isn't it? Now come to the four sided figure. If you consider a square, in a square you know all four sides are equal and each angle is 90 degree. So we can call a square to be a regular polygon of four sides. A five sided regular polygon can be called as a regular pentagon. If the number of sides is six and if all sides and all angles are equal, we call it as a regular hexagon and so on. Let us do the problems in the next exercise in our next class. Thank you.